Hello explorers and welcome back to my channel. I am Passa the Art and today I'm going to be showing you my Ray from Evangelion time lapse. This week was one of those weeks where everything went absolutely wrong. My original plan for this week was to upload a video discussing art prints and you know test doing test runs of prints before committing and print um, committing to a print shop and not being afraid to say no to them if you don't like the prints. And let's just say my video files got corrupted and I'm not too happy about that. Um, so unfortunately we're just gonna have to do this one. Um, I am gonna be upgrading my art room tomorrow so I can probably do like a room tour. Um, like may maybe not like a full on video but maybe like a small room tour video. I'm getting a new printer tomorrow and I got some new vinyl. Um, so yeah, maybe I can do a small video of that. So Ray is a character from Evangelion. I'm not going to give out spoilers even though the um, anime has been out for probably over 20 years now. Probably working on 30. Oh jeez. Um, but it's definitely worth a watch. It's definitely one of the more darker anime. But it's not like... It's not fan service-y at all, which is what I like. <laughs> okay, that sounded bad. I don't like fan service-y anime. So I use a Wacom's Antique, the 13 inch Pro, and I'm using Photoshop 2021 in this, I believe. Um, either way, it's Photoshop. Um, and it was updated to the most current one at the time that I drew this. The brush that I use is the um, round brush with transfer turned on. Transfer allows for blending. Well, super easy blending anyways. If you guys want a tutorial on how to blend in Photoshop, by all means, I'm more than happy to do that. I guess I'll just talk about how I found my art style. Um, fair warning, I'm still completely looking for my art style, but you know, but my art style is a little bit different from other people's. So basically when I first got into digital art, <laughs> actually let me back up to back in the day. <laughs> So back in high school, I would draw with colored pencils. I would use Prisma and I would do line art and all of that fun stuff. And then I upgraded from Prisma color pencils to Copic Copic markers, um, however you want to say it. And I still use the line art. I still have the markers. I still love using them. It's just a lot of them are dried out. <laughs> you know, the ink ain't cheap, but it does last a while. It's just, you know, it's still an upfront cost that I'm, I'm just... For how little I use the markers, it's not really worth it to me right now. In time it will be because I definitely want to get back into it because I love the markers. And then after that, I went into digital art because of college. They gave me the tiniest possible Wacom. Wacom, Wacom. And let's just say, with how much I drew on that thing, it like actually damaged my wrist. And yeah, if you're gonna get a Wacom, at least get the medium size, so that way you don't ruin your wrist like I did. And when I got the Wacom, I tried to do line art digitally, and I tried to use the pen tool in Photoshop, I tried to draw it by hand, and nothing I did just replicated my line art, um, my traditional line art. And so I kind of just said, screw it, I need to learn how to draw without line art. Um, and that's when I tried to learn how to do shading, how to do realistic shading, and honestly it was just all kinds of bad. Um, learning to figure out how to work colors properly digitally is a lot harder than it is traditional, just because you can just straight up buy the right color marker if you want to. With digital, when, when I first started doing digital artwork, all my people were super yellow because I just couldn't pick the proper color. Um, I'd have to dig through my hard drive and find all the old bad stuff, but maybe one day I'll crack it open and do a, a video of me roasting myself. That being said, I started to look up tutorials online. I ran into Saki Michan. At the time, her stuff wasn't all rated X stuff, and she actually had really good tutorials. And so I bought a few of them, and then like once she started getting into the X-rated stuff, I just like stopped following her. But yes, I learned a lot of my shading and blending from her, and then also Mark Bernay. Um, Mark Bernay has a digital um, art school course, so that's what helped me as well. 
So between him and Saki Michan, and then me just replicating a few artists throughout the years, I don't really, unfortunately I don't remember what their names were, but I found them on DeviantArt. And then just sitting there and trying to like replicate the styles in Photoshop, that's pretty much how I got to my art style. Oh, oh, side note, side note. The one traditional artist that has heavily influenced my traditional artwork back from when I actually did traditional artwork, Arina Tanimura. Um, I think that's how you say her name. She's the artist of Full Moon Usakashite and Gentleman's Alliance Cross. Once I bust out the old sketchbooks, you can probably see the resemblance in the art style, with, especially with the super massive detailed eyes. But yeah, between those three artists, and me just be like, yeah, I got the skills on how to color and shade, but I'm gonna do my own thing now. That's pretty much how I got to where I'm at now. I do need to work on my style more just because I don't like how I do eyes. And I feel like I could do hair better. Like, my biggest problem as an artist is that I'm like super into science. And so I try to make my art like grounded in reality. So like those poofy dresses and those poofy hairs that like defy um, gravity, it's just hard for my head to grasp that and hard for me to replicate it. But I need to get more creative and more like, hey, this is art. You don't have to like fully ground this in reality. Be more creative. That's my biggest hurdle right now. And you know, I will get there in time. It's just... I gotta practice and you know that's what my sketchbook is for and I'm gonna start cracking that open and start you know <laughs> breaking my own boundaries yeah um but yeah that's all I really have to discuss today if you guys like the video go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys have any comments or critiques totally just let me know and I will get that video with me discussing prints out as soon as I can but yeah have a great weekend take care guys Bye.